Hey there and welcome to Easy Game Art. In this episode we'll continue with our prehistoric jungle graphics set and this time we'll do some foreground graphics. So let's get right into this and start with a basic ledge with a grassy top. Let's do some, let's create some basic rectangle. Yeah, it's pretty good color already, some kind of a brownish tone. Um, and on top a little shade of green, whatever um, type of color you like. Maybe a little more saturated, yep. Yeah. Okay, then we will use the same technique as the last time. We'll create a little polygon shape with a lot of corners, around 12. Um, and then skew it a little bit and then and then convert it to a path object. And now we can start to modify these edges and round it up a little bit to get this kind of grassy look or bush. That's a really nice way to um, create seemingly a lot of detail with actually very little effort and very little amount of work to do. And that's the essence of our technique we use all the time. Very little effort with maximum outcome. Alright, when you're satisfied with it, just stick with this shape. Um, and then we'll start to um, putting this kind of grass bush type of shape here and duplicate it um, many times. Maybe resize it so it alters in size. And of course, you can also flip it horizontally so we can vary a little bit. Let's uh, select a few and, and start to alter a little bit in color. We can even um, use a gradient maybe. Okay, now I've just added a little more shadows here down and if you're finished with the cross, now one more thing, let's add a little um, shading to the earth here, um, duplicate this and create a linear gradient with a little darker uh, kind of brown on the top and then move it back. Yeah, this creates a nice little shading. So let's just leave it for now with the ground. Um, maybe continue with a little tree. Just a brown rectangle again, a little lighter and a linear gradient with an additional gradient point somewhere near the center with a little lighter type of brown and then convert it to a path and start um, modifying the node points a little bit to sh kind of form a some kind of tree and maybe add a little branch here and there Okay, and then we'll just use the same um, grassy bush type of shape we've used with the grass and use this with the treetop. Just a little more size and then we'll just duplicate this one and maybe um, maybe flip it horizontally and vary it a little bit in color. It's pretty much the same here and maybe even once more. Uh, 
all right and the same here a little smaller version of this and um, finally some shading to the tree trunk similar to our crown tile a little gradient with darker type of brown into transparency and move this back okay and let's um, select the whole tree group it and move it to the back perfect okay now let's just add a little more detail to our tree trunk maybe okay now fine now let's add a little background just a temporary background to have a little more atmosphere here let's do basic gradient from maybe some kind of green tone rather light and into a little yellow or orange kind of tone yep let's go with that for now now next thing we add is a little crate object a wooden crate always a nice object to have let's just create a rectangle with some kind of brown color and then we'll um, make some wooden planks about this size here um, a little lighter and then we'll add some details so it looks kind of like wood Okay, now let's group those objects together. So we have a little wooden plank and now we duplicate this a few times. Let's do it around four times and then kind of resize this one a little bit. And um, we want two more here. Um, let's rotate this a little bit and put another one here can be a little bit overlapping another one here it doesn't have to be a, it doesn't precisely have to be a square so let's just go with that and adjust this and then here we want some kind of a, a drop shadow so let's just create a black rectangle and use a gradient to transparency and move this behind and now we can adjust the shadow just as e easy as this and another one here okay and now we want another plank um, diagonal so let's rotate one of these or maybe let's resize it first <coughs> let's stretch it a little bit and then rotate it so that it goes from the one direction to the other okay and here we want a shadow as well maybe even a little blur effect <coughs> okay and the background rectangle we want a little bit darker maybe yep you can adjust it as just as you like okay i guess i think i go with that now let's select the bunch of objects and group them together and now we have a nice nice little crate we can <coughs> place this everywhere we want a little bit smaller and move behind those things and we can duplicate this put another one here maybe and another one on top of those actually i'm not quite satisfied let's um, put a gradient here at the back rectangle from this color to maybe exactly this one yeah 
looks a little bit better now. Now we want to add a little more jungle atmosphere, so let's put a little more bush and wood up here maybe and create some vines. Okay, now we've just added <coughs> a little bit of this uh, bush and vine type of things, just to create a little more, a uh, little denser jungle atmosphere. Um, let's just create a little more of this ground here, and let's put it here, because now we uh, want to create a little water here so let's just put a rectangle up here with a blue gradient and <coughs> now let's put some waves in it and duplicate this one and flip horizontally and adjust this waves a little bit. Okay. Okay, now um, we want to smoothen uh, the edges here a little bit. Um, and this is easy, just create a dark brown rectangle with a gradient to transparency and put this in the back here. And here we just want to overlay it with some kind of these bush textures. And that's basically it. Now, um, next thing we want, uh, maybe let's add a little more trees, a little um, more giant trees, like in a jungle. Let's just um, use the tree trunk here. And make this a little bigger here. Now let's use this great tree and put a one, sm one more here in the back. And um, maybe let's um, increase the size of this gap here a little bit. Let's And between those two trees, we create um, some kind of uh, bridge. One more thing, let's add little holes and platforms here um, to those trees. Okay, now let's take this bunch here and copy it over here. Maybe flip it horizontally just to finish up this part. Yeah, I think we're done for now. Um, let's review what we've created today. We have um, created a bunch of foreground objects for our jungle graphics set. We've started with um, those grassy ledge tiles here um, using a very simple technique with the polygons. Um, then we have created a nice little tree here. Then we've created um, those nice little 
wooden crates which can be used in many different places in the level and then we have added this um, tree top here with the vines and all that to create a little more jungle atmosphere then we've added this water placed some trees here and connected them with a nice little bridge okay now last but not least let's head over to our character we've created last episode and insert them in our new scene here now let's position him somewhere and let's see I would say it fits I hope to see you next time when we will create some background graphics which will perfectly fit into this nice little scene here until then have fun playing around with Inkscape and have a nice day bye